playland outside New York City. When it was first built, it was named the Atom Smasher. In 1951, a man named Mike Todd featured the Atom Smasher in his film, This is Sanorama. Since then, it's been known as the Sanorama Coaster. The Sanorama Coaster is 2,800 feet of thrills and chills. Standing 87 feet tall, it drops up to 70 feet at a time. Top speeds of 50 miles an hour turn things into a blur. Alyssa, what was it like? Well, it was a lot of fun. You just, you're going up a big hill and then you just get a big steep drop. And you don't know what's going to happen. There's all sorts of bumps and everything and it's really exciting. It's lots of fun. It's great. Julie, was it exciting? Yes, especially when we went up to the top of the hill and it felt like you were going to fly out of your seat. It was very exciting. Suzanne, what was the best part? The best part we started, uh, was going down the first hill because you really start off slow and then you go up and when you're going down it's really hard to catch your breath and then you start going really bumpy and that was really the best part on the whole ride. Did it make you scream? from Rockway Playland, New York. Next on Kids World. Hi, I'm Rob Reddy from Kings Park, New York, and I wrote a letter to Kids World about my band, Sorcerer. My friend Andy Skolshody and I started Sorcerer about four years ago. Our friend Tony Matassa joined a year later. Kids World sent a film crew to do our story. If you have a good story idea, write to Kids World in care of the station you're watching now. Maybe you can be on TV, too. Send your letter to Kids World in care of the TV station you're watching now. Hi, I'm Bobby Smith, and I'm 12 years old, and I live in Los Angeles, California. I like to play the bongos. I was born two months early, and what happened was they had to put me in an incubator for two months, and they gave my mother a choice. If I would eat, if I either wanted to, to see and be retarded or be blind and have to um, 